Okay, let's see some Z-score in action. Suppose the waiting times at a doctor's office are normally distributed with a mean of 30 minutes and a standard deviation of 10 minutes. If this is the case, how many people wait less than 15 minutes? Well, let's see. If we're talking about a data point of 15 minutes when the mean is 30 and the standard deviation is 10, then that corresponding z-score is what? x minus x bar over sigma, that is the z-score is uh, 15 minus 30 over 10, which is negative 15 over 10, that's negative 1.5. So we go to the table and we look up negative 1.5 and negative 1.5 and where's the zero? The zero is on the far right column so negative 1.5 is way at the end 0 0.0668 0 0.0668 so that is um, 0 0.0668 6.68 percent that is 6.68 percent of the people wait 15 minutes or less um, B how many people wait more than an hour? Now this is a little bit tricky, a little bit trickier because everything up until this point is talking about up to a point. That's why we have this little picture at the top of the chart, the everything up to a part. To find everything beyond a point, we have to find everything up to it and subtract that from a hundred. So what do we have here? An hour. An hour is, our data point is 60 minutes. And so our z-score is going to be 60 minus 30 over 10, which is 30 over 10, which is 3. We have to look up positive 3 on the z-score chart. And for the positive numbers, the hundredths place, hundredths place being 0 is the first column. We just go down to 3, and here it is, 99.87. So that is 99.87 wait one hour or less. So subtract that from 100.13% is the answer. 0.13% of the people wait an hour or more. If there are 1,500 patients at the doctor's office each week, what does that mean? Well, what is 6.68% of 1,500? 1,500, 1500 times 0 0.0668 is something I need a calculator for. 1,500 times 0 0.0668 is 100.2. 100.2. So we would say approximately 100 people each week, each week wait less than or equal to 15 minutes. That's not such a terribly great track record. People are waiting. You should bring a book when you come to this doctor's office. Uh, what about 1,500 for the other people? So that would be 1,500 times, not 0.13, but 0 0.0013, because this is 0.13, 0 0.13%, and that is 1,500 times 0 0.0013 is 1.95. 1.95, so I'm going to say approximately two people each week wait greater than or equal to one hour. So this is showing you how you can use the z-score chart. If you know that something is normally distributed, its histogram looks like a bell curve, you can use this sort of, you can use the empirical rule, you can use z-score data, and it tells you how unusual is something. I went to the doctor's office and I waited an hour before they saw me. What, what's up with that? Well, if you, and here's the problem, you need to know the me, the average, you need to know the standard deviation. If, uh, you know, you know if, you, if you always have to wait that long, then maybe that is the average. But if you know average, if you know standard deviation, you can get nice exact numbers like two people each week 
have to wait over an hour. It's a real shame, but this is... Anytime you have things that vary, there's going to be a few really large, there's going to be a few really small. I'll make do the last examples on a different video.